Reviews. As the world's transitioned online, they've become as valuable as gold. Nowhere is this more important than on platforms like Amazon. So if you're thinking about or already selling on Amazon, then this video is going to teach you exactly how to use the best converting systems to number one, request reviews, and number two, respond to reviews. Now this is all TOS compliant, and the very best part is that it's fully automated. And if you're new here, my name's Dan Rogers, a big welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. And the tool that makes all of this possible is called Salarize. I've loved their very first incarnation, which was automating the request a review button, but now there's so much more I want to share with you. And there's two major things that set Salarize apart. The first is that they're very forward thinking. Gone are the days that you can set up an auto email follow up for all of your customers. Most customers actually opt out of Salar messaging. And so Salarize is focusing on the new and better converting systems like the request a review button. And second is automation. You're busy. You don't have time to sit there manually clicking request a review or contact customer. You want automation so you can focus on building your actual business, growing the business. So almost everything that we cover here is completely automated. You literally have to set it up once on Salarize. In synopsis, if you want one one-stop shop, I believe Salarize is the answer in terms of reviews. I've also partnered with them. If you use the link below, you get a 14 day trial so you can just test it out. And then you also get 10% off every single month for a full year. So link below if you are interested in what we go over today. Let's begin with how to automate review requests. On Salarize, you want to navigate to the review requester page. And once on this page, you can actually disable or enable the full tool. And you can also do the same for your products below. So you can enable or disable for individual products. And over here for our enabled products, you can see how many requests were sent to buyers on each of these days. But what actually are these requests? What does this tool actually do? Well, usually you would go to your orders, click into a specific one and then click request review on that order. As mine is automated already, it actually says I've already sent this and so I cannot send it again. But usually what happens is the buyer gets an email like this. Now the first standout here as compared to our older like email follow ups is that it's very easy and fast for the customer. They can literally just click the star number rating in line with their opinion and it's done. So conversion is way higher on this. And second, buyer opt outs here are way lower. And so this way, you know, your buyer actually gets this. So with Salarize, instead of having to manually come press this button every time, which you actually need to do regularly because it's only available between five and 20 days after an order has been delivered, this tool does it automatically for you. And even better is you can actually select the specific types of customers you want to send these requests for in order to actually boost the positive nature of your reviews and of course avoid negative ones. And to do this on Review Requester, click Set Configurations. And this is going to bring up some options. For example, we can send review requests. And remember, product review is different from seller feedback. And here we can choose whether we want to send review requests on orders that have received seller feedback. I choose to send it on those with no feedback and with feedback that is between four and five stars. So if I know a customer has actually given me a product review or even seller feedback, but as a seller feedback, four or five stars, Star, that's likely going to be a positive review. So I do want to send them a request here. You can also choose whether or not you kind of resend these to those who repeat purchase your product. Importantly here, we're going to ignore orders with refunds. You certainly do not want to be requesting a review from someone who's actually asked for a refund and returned your product. Then the delay after shipping is set to five days and you can actually set this to longer. However, remember that the review request button only works five days after delivered. And in that time, most people would have issued returns and gotten their refunds. So you're not going to be asking them for a review. The custom request 
time. You can actually set here a specific time of day when you want that review request to go out to the customer. I prefer to use their AI time. That actually works out based on this customer's activity. When is best to request this? You can also set a daily limit, which I don't suggest. And you can also choose to send requests only after a specific date. And so that's how you can personalize this to boost the chances of those that you are requesting reviews from. And again, here we can see how many we're sending per day. And this is going to help us with a conversion rate. So how many of our orders are actually turning into reviews when we set this up or change our configurations? And we'll get into conversion rate in a moment. Next up, let's look at how you can automatically handle negative reviews. On Salarize, come over to Review Puncher. Now this tool is going to allow you to actually automate the contact customer button on Amazon. So what is contact customer? If you go into your orders page and click a specific order, then click the buyer name. You will see Amazon's contact customer page here. You can choose from a set of contact reasons to send the customer a pre-made template. This actually comes from Amazon on your behalf. But for that reason, it does have better conversion. The two main reasons we're interested in most here are number one and most importantly is courtesy refund. And this offers the customer a refund or replacement. The other option is other. And here we can actually gain more information from the customer on any problems they experienced. But you can review the template message here. The customer can gain a replacement by responding with this phrase or they can gain a refund by responding with this phrase. Once you're happy, scroll down and click send. So of course you could manually go in and do that every time, but with Salarize you can fully automate it based on the reviews that customers leave. On your review puncher page, click set configurations again. Here you can see if a one star review comes in, what should we do? Two star and three star. Now I choose to do a courtesy refund because I would manually do this anyway in order to preserve my review rating overall and the marketability of my listing. But here we can automate it. So if that comes in, send that customer that contact customer template. I also choose to do the same for two star and three star reviews. Now some people on three star do choose customer review. And you can see we will check with your buyer to clarify any product issues based on their review. So that is an option as well. But if you want it to be real simple, courtesy refund is of course more powerful. You can also mark as done after sending this email and you can set a daily limit. As you can see here in my orders page, this one order was actually automatically offered and then issued a refund. I didn't actually have to manually go and do that. And so the big question here is, does this help? Well, it's your best bet. So I think you should take it. But secondly, you can also see how many reviews have been deleted recently, which I will show you in a moment. Generally, though, a customer is going to feel you really went out of your way to give them that refund. So generally, yes, it does have a good impact. And remember, your primary goal with this one is to get rid of that bad review or increase the star rating of it. So you're now requesting reviews and responding to reviews through the highest converting systems all automatically. Lastly, let's look at how you can gain actionable data from reviews. Navigate to Review Downloader on Salarize. Here you can actually see all your downloaded reviews for specific products. And to get them in here, you actually want to go to Amazon itself, go to your listing, and then open up the Salarize Chrome extension. You then want to click Review Downloader. Once it loads, you can click Load Current Product Reviews. That is going to pull in all your products, current reviews to Salarize so we can look into them further. But an extra tip here is that you can also put in specific ASINs over here, or you could search for your competitor products or even potential products and actually begin using this within your review research as part of your product research. But once we've loaded up those current reviews, Come into Review Downloader under Actions, click Download. This is going to give you all the data on your reviews. Review link that actually goes to that specific review. The ASIN that these reviews are on, the date it was posted, the rating, the user URL, 
can use this to actually go to that user's profile on Amazon. We also have the user name. Now this combined with the date is actually going to be a great reference for you because you can then go into your orders on that date and look for a, the same name. Hopefully their buyer name is the same as their profile name and you'll be able to match up a negative review with a specific order and ask if they would like a refund, for example. But of course, you can automate that in Salarize. Then we have the title and body of the review. And importantly, we can see how many people found this helpful. I think this one's really insightful because it's actually going to give you insight into what are the most important attributes of your product. What should you emphasize or give more confidence to customers on, on your actual listing? And then verify it so you can see if this is a verified review or not. And as a very cool summary, we have the review dashboard. Now on the review dashboard, you can see for any one of your products, the rating, the amount of reviews, the 30 day gain, and the 30 day average. Like are you on or off of that average? Are you getting less or more reviews? And the conversion. So out of all your orders, how many reviews are you getting from those orders? You can also see your rating trend over here. And this will, no matter what you do, decline slightly over time. But the big thing you don't want is for it to go, you know, way below four stars. It's going to be very difficult for you to convert. But it's a good thing to watch in terms of when I make changes. How does that impact my trend in terms of reviews? And then here we can see negative on page. And what that means is on the front page, if someone just goes onto your listing, how many of the reviews on that page are negative? So that's when customers make their big decisions. And right next to that, we also see the number of deleted reviews. So that's our overview here. You can also find the common phrases in your reviews. I want to show you the goal calculator. On here, you can see your current review rating and then your goal rating, which you can actually set here. So you can change this. However, if our goal is to move from 4.6 to 4.7, then here are the ways to achieve this. We could get 97 five star reviews, or we could process 17 three star, or 11 two star, or eight one star reviews. And this means reaching out to that customer using contact customer that feature and actually getting them to remove that review by their choice or actually improve the star rating because we issue them for example a refund and so i also think this is really useful to know okay what do i actually need to do in order to achieve or even maintain certain star ratings you can then also look at specific review gains over time and importantly is conversion so how many of your orders are turning into reviews you can see this over time. You can see here it jumped massively. Now that was in October 2021. That was specifically when I was testing that launch platform that I showcased in another video. I'll put a link up here for you as well if you do want to check that out. But definitely did increase conversion here. So you're now requesting and responding to reviews all automatically in line with TOS to boost the chances of positive ones and reduce the negative. And you're also monitoring and gaining actionable insight from your reviews. Overall, I think they've created a great automated system here. Remember, if you're interested in this, use the link below, 14 day free trial and 10% of every single month for a year with this tool. And before you go, if you did enjoy this, please drop us a quick like. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay ahead of your competition. But I hope this brings you hundreds of reviews and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, <laughs> oh,